Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to prepare this Adobe Illustrator file to be usable in Adobe After Effects. This file with the current structure is not usable for After Effects to create motion graphics. Therefore, we need to change the structure of the layers. But first of all, let's delete the color palette layer. We don't need it anymore, or you can delete it in Adobe After Effects. So unlock and delete it. These sky, circles, cloud one, cloud two, and cloud three are okay. Each of them is on a separate layer, but this top clouds layer consists of three objects. If we want to animate them separately, so we have to put each one in a separate layer. So let's drag them outside of the top clouds layer. Okay, this layer is empty now, so let's delete it. Now the only layer that we need to work on is rocket layer. If I open this layer, as you can see, we don't have a small arrow beside some of them. So Adobe Illustrator doesn't allow us to drag that layer to outside of the rocket layer. So we have to do something that adds a small arrow beside them, just like these layers here. Okay, now to solve this problem, select the rocket layer and click on this small menu and choose release to layers sequence. Now, as you can see, Illustrator added a small arrow beside each layer. Okay, now you can drag each one to the outside, or you can select all of them to drag them to the outside of the rocket layer. Okay, the rocket layer is empty now, so let's delete it. Okay, I highly recommend you to rename these layers and give a corresponding name to each one. This will help you to find each layer easily in Adobe After Effects. So, select each layer by clicking on this small circle to find it in Artboard, and then give it a proper name. Okay, let's rename this layer to body highlight. For this one, enter body gradient. And now let's rename other layers as well. Okay, for these four window layers, we can put them in one layer because we don't want to animate them separately. So let's select and move these three small windows to inside the big window layer. And finally, rename it to Windows. For these body parts, we can follow the same process. So let's select and move them inside the body layer. And rename it to Body. And now let's move these two wings layer under the body layer. Also, let's move these three fire layers under the body layer as well. Okay, now our Adobe Illustrator file is ready to be imported inside Adobe After Effects. So let's save this file. From the menu, choose File, Save As. And here, let's give it a name. And here, in Version section, you can select different version for your file. It's up to you. Okay, our design process finished successfully. I hope you enjoyed and learned new tips and techniques in Adobe Illustrator. But if you'd like to learn how to animate this scene inside Adobe After Effects, I highly recommend you to watch the next videos. Thanks for being with me so far and see you in the next video.